Welcome to Escape X History Channel, where we embark on a captivating journey through the annals of time to explore the rich tapestry of human history. From ancient civilizations to modern revolutions, our channel is dedicated to unraveling the intriguing events that have shaped the world we live in today. Before we delve in, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss an update when we post new videos. The year was 480 BCE, and the tension in the ancient world reached its zenith as the mighty Persian Empire, led by King Xerxes, set its sights on the conquest of Greece. The Greek city-states, recognizing the imminent threat, forged an alliance under the banner of the Hellenic League. At the forefront of this alliance was Themistocles, the brilliant and visionary Athenian general, who foresaw the significance of the upcoming naval battle of Salamis. On the opposing side stood Artemisia, queen of Halicarnassus, a formidable naval commander in the service of Xerxes. Artemisia was known for her cunning strategies, unmatched seamanship, and an uncanny ability to read the ebb and flow of the battlefield. Her reputation extended beyond loyalty to the Persian Empire. It reached the echelons of admiration among both allies and adversaries. As the morning sun painted the sky with hues of pink and orange, the vast Persian fleet, led by King Xerxes himself, advanced toward the narrow straits of Salamis. The Greek city-states, united under the banner of the Hellenic League, awaited their destiny. The odds were stacked against them, the Persian navy outnumbered the Greek counterparts, and the sheer size of Xerxes' armada seemed insurmountable. As the Persian fleet advanced towards the Greek city-states, Themistocles devised a masterful plan. Recognizing the strategic importance of the narrow straits of Salamis, he urged his fellow Greek commanders to position their fleet within the confined waters. Themistocles understood that the cramped conditions would negate the numerical advantage of the massive Persian navy, turning the geography into an ally for the outnumbered Greeks. The stage was set for an epic clash that would resonate through the annals of history. Artemisia, the queen of Halicarnassus, emerged as a formidable figure on the Persian side during the naval battle of Salamis. Despite being an ally of King Xerxes, she commanded her own contingent of ships, showcasing a rare level of autonomy and trust within the vast Persian fleet. Her reputation as a skilled naval commander and a shrewd strategist had earned her a place of prominence among the leaders of the Persian Empire. Artemisia hailed from Halicarnassus, a city in the Persian satrapy of Caria. Her ascension to the role of a naval commander was a testament to her exceptional abilities and the respect she garnered from Xerxes and his court. Unlike some of the Persian commanders who adhered strictly to the king's directives, Artemisia was given a degree of independence, a recognition of her tactical acumen and leadership prowess. As the Persian fleet sailed toward Salamis, Artemisia's ships took their place in the formation, and her presence was immediately felt. Her contingent, a mix of triremes and other naval vessels, showcased a blend of efficiency and discipline. Artemisia's reputation preceded her, and her fellow commanders acknowledged the impact she could have on the outcome of the impending battle. Artemisia's command style was marked by a combination of calculated risk-taking and strategic brilliance. In the heat of the battle, she navigated her ships through the narrow straits with a finesse that left her adversaries in awe. Her ability to read the unfolding chaos and make split-second decisions set her apart from her counterparts on both sides of the conflict. Themistocles, the Athenian general leading the Greek forces, recognized Artemisia as a key adversary. He closely monitored her movements and adapted his strategies to counter her maneuvers. Artemisia's unpredictability and resilience added an extra layer of complexity to the already intense naval engagement. The first clash of bronze-tipped prows and the clash of swords echoed across the waves, the Greeks held the ground, the compact formation proving resilient against the sprawling Persian armada. Xerxes, observing the battle from his elevated throne on the shore, grew impatient as his vast navy struggled in the confined waters. As the sun ascended its zenith, casting an unrelenting glare upon the waters of the Straits of Salamis, the outcome of the naval battle hung in the balance. The Greeks, inspired by the resolute leadership of Themistocles, began to gain the upper hand. 
the strategic positioning within the narrow confines of the straits had proven to be a masterstroke, nullifying the numerical advantage that the massive Persian fleet had enjoyed. The Greek triremes, swift and maneuverable, cut through the water with a precision that belied their numerical inferiority. The tightly packed Persian vessels struggled to navigate the cramped conditions, unable to deploy their full force effectively. Themistocles, standing on the deck of his flagship, directed the movements of his fleet with a calculated brilliance that echoed through the ages. The clash of bronze against bronze echoed across the straits as the Greek triremes closed in on the Persian adversaries. The disciplined phalanx formation held by the Hellenic League proved to be an impenetrable wall against the scattered and disoriented Persian ships. The Greek sailors, fueled by a determination to defend their homeland and the ideals of democracy, fought with an unmatched ferocity. King Xerxes, observing the unfolding calamity from his vantage point on the shore, watched as the numerical advantage he had counted on became a liability. The once imposing Persian fleet, a symbol of imperial might, now found itself in disarray. The sheer chaos of the battle rendered the Persian commanders unable to coordinate an effective response. Desperation gripped the Persian fleet, and Xerxes, realizing the perilous situation, ordered a retreat. The mighty armada, once a symbol of invincibility, now turned in disorderly fashion to escape the narrow straits. However, the Greeks, sensing victory within the grasp, closed in with unwavering determination. Themistocles, seizing the moment, exploited the disarray within the Persian ranks. The Greek triremes, now in pursuit, skillfully maneuvered to cut off any chance of escape. The narrow waters that had favored the Greeks throughout the day now became a trap for the retreating Persians. The Greek forces closed in, ramming and boarding the fleeing Persian ships with relentless precision. As the chaotic maelstrom of battle enveloped the narrow straits of Salamis, Artemisia, the queen of Halicarnassus, found herself at the center of a perilous predicament. Her ships were surrounded by the relentless onslaught of Greek triremes, and the prospect of defeat loomed on the horizon. The heat of battle intensified, and the clash of bronze against bronze reverberated through the turbulent waters. Artemisia, known for her cunning and resourcefulness, assessed the dire situation with a steely resolve. The encircling Greek forces seemed insurmountable, and the once imposing Persian fleet was on the verge of collapse. It was in this moment of crisis that Artemisia faced a moral dilemma that would define her legacy. With her ships surrounded on all sides, Artemisia understood that a conventional escape was impossible. Retreat in the face of the encircling Greek forces would likely result in her capture or destruction. In a bold and unorthodox move born out of desperation and strategic brilliance, Artemisia made a fateful decision. Turning her gaze toward the heart of the Persian fleet, Artemisia directed her ships with purpose. In a shocking twist, she ordered one of her own allies to be rammed intentionally. The cacophony of splintering wood and the clash of metal echoed across the straits as her vessel collided with that of a fellow Persian commander. The act was a calculated gamble, a maneuver designed to create chaos within the Persian ranks and exploit the confusion to break free from the encircling Greek forces. Artemisia's daring move caught both her allies and enemies off guard. The Greeks, momentarily taken aback by the unexpected collision within the Persian fleet, hesitated in their pursuit. Meanwhile, Artemisia skillfully navigated her damaged ship through the chaotic aftermath of the collision, using the diversion to slip through the gaps in the Greek formation. As the Greek forces regrouped and redirected their attention to the unfolding turmoil within the Persian fleet, Artemisia seized the opportunity to escape the clutches of the encircling forces. The damaged state of her ship served as a testament to the sacrifice she had made to ensure her survival. Artemisia's tactical brilliance and resourcefulness shone through in this pivotal moment. The intentional ramming of her own ally, though a morally complex decision, showcased her unwavering commitment to survival and her ability to make bold choices in the face of overwhelming odds. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the now tranquil waters of the Straits of Salamis, the aftermath of the naval battle told a story of defiance, courage, and strategic brilliance. The resounding victory belonged to the Greeks, 
a testament to the masterful leadership of Themistocles and the indomitable spirit of the Hellenic League. The strategic acumen of Themistocles had been the linchpin in the Greek triumph. The disciplined phalanx formation and agile triremes of the Greek fleet had become a formidable force under the Mistocles' command. The clash at Salamis in 480 BCE marked a pivotal moment in the Greco-Persian Wars, altering the course of history and shaping the destiny of ancient Greece. Following the Battle of Thermopylae, where a small Greek force, led by King Leonidas I of Sparta, had valiantly resisted the Persian invasion but ultimately succumbed to overwhelming numbers, the city of Athens had been sacked by the Persians. In the aftermath of these events, the Greek city-states, united under the Hellenic League, faced a critical juncture. The Persian king Xerxes, having dealt a severe blow to the Greeks, was determined to press further into Greece, extending his dominion. However, the Greek states were not ready to surrender. They rallied their forces, both naval and ground, under the leadership of figures like Themistocles, the Athenian statesman and general. The strategic brilliance of Themistocles, combined with the determination and valor of the Greek forces, played a crucial role in altering the trajectory of history. The Battle of Salamis not only safeguarded Greece from immediate conquest but also set the stage for subsequent Greek victories on land, culminating in the Battle of Plataea in 479 BCE. The Hellenic League's triumph at Salamis stands as a testament to the power of strategic thinking, unity, and courage in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. The success of the Battle of Salamis played a crucial role in saving democracy in ancient Greece, particularly in Athens, and preserving the political autonomy of the city-states within the Hellenic League. The victory had significant implications for the development and continuation of democratic governance in the region. Athens, being one of the key city-states of the Hellenic League, had been devastated by the Persian invasion. The Battle of Salamis not only halted the Persian advance but also prevented the complete subjugation of Athens. The city, which had been abandoned and laid in ruins after the Persian sack, was given a chance to rebuild and recover. The preservation of Athens was vital for the democratic experiment that was taking shape in the city. The political and cultural developments in Athens during the 5th century BCE laid the foundations for Athenian democracy, and the successful defense against the Persians at Salamis contributed significantly to this continuity. The Battle of Salamis showcased the power of collective decision-making and unity that were inherent in the democratic ideals of the Greek city-states. The decision to confront the Persians at sea, led by the Democratic Assembly of the Hellenic League, demonstrated the strength of participatory governance in times of crisis. The victory was not just a military triumph but also a triumph of democratic values. It reinforced the notion that a government accountable to its citizens and capable of fostering unity could effectively face external threats. The successful defense at Salamis significantly boosted the confidence of the Greek city-states, especially those embracing democratic governance. It instilled a sense of pride and resilience, demonstrating that even in the face of overwhelming odds, a united and determined people could prevail. The psychological impact of the victory contributed to the flourishing of democratic ideals. It showcased that a system of government based on the participation of citizens could not only survive but also thrive in challenging circumstances. The subsequent years after the Battle of Salamis witnessed the rise of democratic reforms in Athens, spearheaded by leaders such as Themistocles and Pericles. These leaders, inspired by the victory, championed democratic principles and expanded political participation. The confidence gained from the successful defense against the Persians influenced Athens to take a more assertive role in the Delian League, an alliance formed to continue the fight against Persia. This assertiveness further enhanced Athens' status as a democratic powerhouse and a leader among the Greek city-states. The tales of Salamis echoed through the corridors of time, becoming a symbol of the triumph of a collective spirit against overwhelming odds. The Mistocles name became synonymous with strategic genius, and the bravery exhibited by the sailors of the Hellenic League became the stuff of legend. The clash at Salamis, a convergence of naval warfare and political foresight, resonated across generations, imparting lessons of resilience and unity.
future generations would look back at salamis as a defining moment that safeguarded the foundations of western civilization the battle of salamis became more than a military engagement it became a symbol of the enduring human spirit in the face of tyranny the legacy of those who fought on that fateful day would inspire leaders philosophers and warriors for centuries to come leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of history